Hello, I'm Clay Guthrie, and on behalf of the Osborne Junior High, I would like to welcome everyone here tonight as we celebrate and reflect upon the 2021 Junior High school year. This year was one to remember for sure. In football, we finished 6-1 and one with Wes LaRock and Blake Graybest as our coaches, and there was never a dull moment throughout the season. Basketball, on the other hand, presented its own challenges. With no spectators allowed, we learned how to motivate ourselves and become better players throughout the season. It was also easy to hear the coaches whenever they had something to say. Now we are in track season, and thank goodness we don't have to wear masks, because let's face it, running the two mile, I would die. As for school though, it was still the same. We still spent the mornings in English, and Mrs. Miner's room finishing any assignments we didn't do the day before. And the nights before science tests were almost always spent studying till we fell asleep. And in Mr. Brown's class, we learned that all debt is bad debt. One of the new opportunities, though, as, this, as eighth graders this year was FFA. I highly suggest it. It was tons of fun, and the contests were always fun and usually full of shenanigans. <laughs> And Mrs. Kuhlman great, was a great sponsor. COVID also presented itself with its own memories. From the everyday temperature checks, we learned that uh, technology isn't always 100% accurate. And where we learned that masks can be used for something other than a mask. For example, one day at lunch, we took the school-issued gator masks and turned them into do-rags and a mask, the standard blue ones, can also be used as a wind sail to catch wind, we found out in a maglev project. But throughout it all, COVID has taught me one thing, that no matter what happens, you can make it through if you are willing to adapt because we know that this world is ever changing. Most importantly though, we would like to thank all the staff and teachers, community members, and parents for supporting us through this year and working so hard to make sure we made it through. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you, Clay. Each year, the Activities Association allows us to pick one young man and one young lady that exhibits citizenship awards, or, or not awards, but um, those types of uh, respect, responsibility, and reverence, those type of characteristics. And this year, we have two worthy winners. Would Grace Williams and Peyton Bales, please come to the stage. Congratulations. Uh, next presenting for the American Legion Post number 49, Reverend Mike Krager. Well, it's a privilege to be able to speak for the American Legion and present uh, the American Legion School Award Medal to one young man and one young woman. But first, I'd like to read a couple of paragraphs so you might understand what this is all about. I think this is very important in the day and climate we're living in America. You are all familiar in varying degrees with the history of our country. You know that our way of life uh, didn't just happen. It's the product of work and an active interest on the part of good citizens from its beginning to the present. 
The American Legion is an organization dedicated to the service of God and country. We believe that one of the best ways to perform this service is to take an active interest in the preparation of our youth so that they will become patriotic, freedom-preserving citizens. It's in this interest that the American Legion School Awards Plan was born and is maintained on the national level through the Americanism Commission of the American Legion. We want you, the citizens of the future, to realize that your democracy is in constant need of protection and improvement. The liberty, the rights, the duties we all enjoy are by no means perfect, nor is it likely that they will ever be perfect. I say this because these rights are the product of people like you and I. These people have had ideas. They gave time and thought, talked them over with other people, and then acted to make them into rules of conduct. These we call laws. You know that some of these rules are being changed, new ones are being written, and you will add others. You will also change or amend some of the rules now in effect, which you will consider inadequate to the demands of your problems. This process is liberty in motion. This is why we call democracy a living thing. It lives in the body and spirit of each and every one of us. The rights and duties are yours and mine. They are the property of all the people. They are the responsibility of all the people as individuals and groups. So what are you willing to do to get and keep the kind of world you really want? Are you willing to give time for thinking? Are you keeping the high purposes of liberty in mind? Past wars and the times between them indicate that such vigilance is fundamental if we are to attain and maintain a society of people governing themselves through their chosen representatives. Take an active part in the choosy, choosing these represent, to represent you and keep them informed of your dislikes and desires. Three categories uh, that are looked at for these medals. Courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service. Let these six qualities be the stones on the foundation upon which you con conduct your lives. There's a law much older than that. It's found in the Bible, a book. It's called the Golden Rule. Treat others the way you would like to be treated. Use it as a basis for other rules of conduct you may see fit to set up. Remember, liberty and democracy didn't just happen, nor will it continue to grow or even exist without the thoughts and actions of every one of you, and may say all of us. Let me... Uh, mention these qualities now. The first one is courage. An interesting word. Bravery in the face of opposition and danger. Determination and force to do the right without public applause and regardless of personal advantage. A quality of the intellect is courage. The second is honor. Highly developed moral character moral excellence, strength and stability of character, high standards of conduct, devotion to duty, adherence to truth, keen sense of what is right, the practice of clean speech and thoughts. That's honor. Leadership, ability to lead and to accomplish through group action, ability to work in harmony and in unison, in unison with other leaders in accomplishing group results the desire and ability to fill the voids of the lives of others caused by timidity, illness, and handicaps. Patriotism, an ideal of loyal Americanism, religious tolerance, righteous freedom, and the willingness to defend our flag against all enemies, foreign and domestic, perhaps best defined in the America's creed. Scholarship, Attainments in school studies, quality of school work reflecting the fine traits of industry, perseverance, efficiency, and intellects. Service, which includes kindness, unselfishness, fellowship, protection of the weak, promotion of the interests and the welfare of associates, 
and constructive aid for the upholding of schools and of our communities. So on behalf of the uh, Osborne American Legion Post 49, I will present the American Legion School Award medals. Um, first goes to Grace William. Second goes to a young man, Dawson Lance. At this time, it's my pleasure to award and to give out, uh, present uh, the Gregory Memorial Scholarship. And uh, we have two young people that are get to win this this evening. The Gregories have been very generous throughout the last number of years to award this scholarship. We don't usually, in most school districts, have scholarships uh, for eighth graders, but some do. But the thought behind this scholarship is to encourage a young individual that education could be a very important part of their life and to encourage them along the way. It's not necessarily uh, goes to the, to the top student, it can but it's someone that would be encouraged with this scholarship and may think that maybe perhaps they would broaden their horizons and think about furthering their education. We have two winners tonight. Annika Rustrum, would you please come? And Dalton Bailey. Thank you again. <laughs> Special thanks to the Gregory family.
Good evening. At this time, we'd like to present the awards to all the classes. Sixth graders, would you please stand? Anna Alfaro, lettered and vocal, solo performance at concert, sixth grade girls ensemble one rating, sixth grade girls trio two rating, non-soloist ensemble two rating, honorable mention academic award in art and physical education, scholastic academic award in CCR and vocal. Sarah Lynn Barfield, lettered in cheer, lettered in volleyball, Pike Trail League second place team, participated in basketball, lettered in track, participated in band, lettered in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest solo performance, solo performance at concert, mixed chorus one rating, sixth grade girls ensemble one rating, sixth grade girls trio two rating, junior high girls ensemble one, two rating. Honorable mention academic award in math, science, and social studies, and the scholastic academic award in art, band, CCR, English language arts, physical education, reading, and vocal. <laughs> Porter Choate, lettered in track, participated in band, participated in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest Solo Performance, Solo Performance at Concert, Junior High Boys Ensemble 2 Rating, Ameritown Award, Young Ameritown Employee of the Day at the Sign and Print Shop, Honorable Mention Academic Award in Art, English Language Arts, Reading, Science, Social Studies, and a Scholastic Academic Award in Band, CCR, PE, and Vocal. Dawson Clark, lettered in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest Solo Performance, Mixed Chorus, one rating, sixth grade ensemble, two rating, junior high boys ensemble, two rating, honorable mention academic award in art and CCR, scholastic academic award in PE and vocal. Mackenzie Cole, lettered in volleyball, Pike Trail League second place team, participated in basketball, participated in band, lettered in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest solo performance, solo performance at concert, mixed chorus one rating, sixth grade girls ensemble one rating, junior high girls ensemble two rating, honorable mention academic award in band and vocal, and Scholastic Academic Award in CCR and PE. Nathan Knoll, participated in band, lettered in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest solo performance, solo performance at concert, mixed course one rating, boys trio, two rating, junior high boys ensemble, two rating, Honorable Mention Academic Award in Art, English Language Arts, Math, Reading, Science, Social Studies, and Scholastic Academic Award in Band, CCR, PE, and Vocal. <laughs> Georgia Licks, lettered in cheer, participated in band, lettered in cross country, lettered in basketball, Lettered in track, lettered in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest solo performance, solo performance at concert, mixed course one rating, sixth grade girls ensemble one rating, junior high girls ensemble two rating, Ameritown Awards Young Ameritown Employee of the Day at the bank, honorable mention academic award in art, English language arts, science, and Scholastic Academic Award in Band, CCR, PE, and Vocal. Claire Mick, lettered in cheer, lettered in volleyball, 
Pike Trail League second place team, lettered in basketball, lettered in track, participated in band, lettered in vocal, tri-schools music invitational contest solo performance, solo performance at concert, mixed chorus one rating, sixth grade girls ensemble one rating, junior high girls ensemble two rating, art awards, illustrating America second place. Honorable Mention Academic Award in Social Studies and the Scholastic Academic Award in Art, Band, CCR, English Language Arts, Math, PE, Reading, Science, and Vocal. <laughs> Aiden Nicholson participated in basketball, lettered in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest solo performance. Solo performance at concert, mixed chorus one rating, boys trio two rating, junior high boys ensemble two rating, honorable mention academic award in art, CCR, English language arts, science, and the scholastic academic award in CCR, PE, and vocal. <laughs> Abigail Rigney. Participated in basketball, participated in band, lettered in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest solo performance, mixed chorus one rating, sixth grade girls ensemble two rating, junior high girls ensemble two rating, honorable mention academic award in art, band, English language arts, reading, science, social studies, and scholastic academic award in CCR, PE, and vocal. Gavin Schaefer, participated in band, lettered in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest solo performance, mixed course, one rating, sixth grade ensemble, two rating, junior high boys ensemble, two rating, honorable mention academic award in art, math, reading, science, social studies, and scholastic academic award in band, CCR, English language arts, PE, and vocal. Jackson Schweitzer, participated in basketball, participated in vocal, mixed course one rating, sixth grade ensemble two rating, non-soloist ensemble two rating, honorable mention academic award in art, English language arts, reading and science, and scholastic academic award in CCR and PE. <laughs> Abigail Spurgeon, Lettered in cheer, lettered in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest solo performance, mixed chorus one rating, sixth grade girls ensemble one rating, junior high girls ensemble two rating, honorable mention academic award in CCR and reading, scholastic academic award in art, PE, and vocal. Kinley Thornton, lettered in volleyball, Pike Trail League second place team, participated in basketball, lettered in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest solo performance, solo performance at concert, mixed course one rating, sixth grade girls ensemble one rating, sixth grade girls trio two rating, junior high girls ensemble two rating, Ameritown Award of an Employee of the Day at the radio station. Honorable Mention Academic Award of Art and Scholastic Academic Award of CCR, PE, and Vocal. <laughs> Gracie Torres, Vocal Awards, Mixed Course, One Rating, Junior High Ensemble, Two Rating, Non-Soloist Ensemble, Two Rating, Honorable Mention Academic Award in Vocal, Scholastic Academic Award in Art, CCR, and PE. <laughs> Chaz Wagner, participated in basketball, participated in vocal, mixed course, one rating, sixth grade ensemble, two rating, junior high boys ensemble, two rating, non-soloist -so ensemble, two rating, 
Ameritown Award of the Most Successful Business, The Container Shop. Honorable Mention Academic Award of Art, English Language Arts, Math, Reading, Science, and Scholastic Academic Award of CCR, PE, and Vocal. <laughs> Philip William. Participated in basketball. Participated in vocal. Sixth grade ensemble, two rating. Junior high boys ensemble, two rating. Non-soloist ensemble, two rating. Honorable Mention Academic Award in Art, CCR, English Language Arts, Math, Art, Science, Social Studies, and a Scholastic Academic Award in PE. <laughs> Seventh graders, would you please come forward? Raya Berticelli, Osborne County Spelling Bee, second place. Osborne School Spelling Bee, top 10. Lettered in band, lettered in Scholars Bowl, lettered in cross country, lettered in basketball, lettered in track. Ameritown Awards of Employee of the Day at the Town Hall. Art Awards Illustrating America, first place. Scholastic Academic Award in band, CCR, English, history, intro to drawing, math, PE and science. <laughs> Mary Carlin, Osborne County Spelling Bee Champion, Osborne School Spelling Bee Top 10, participated in band, lettered in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest Solo Performance, Solo Performance at Concert, Mixed Chorus 1 Rating, 7th grade girls ensemble, 2 rating, junior high girls ensemble, 2 rating, lettered in track, lettered in scholars bowl, Ameritown awards of Amer Ameritown's top citizen award, scholastic academic award in band, CCR, English, history, intro to drawing, math, science, and vocal. Kirsten Conway, lettered in volleyball, Pike Trail League second place team, participated in basketball, lettered in vocal, mixed course, one rating, seventh grade girls ensemble, two rating, junior high girls ensemble, two rating, non-soloist ensemble, two rating, honorable mention academic award and vocal. Ethan Creighton, lettered in wrestling, Scholastic Academic Award in CCR and Physical Education. <laughs> Xavier Dooley, lettered in football, lettered in band, lettered in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest solo performance, solo performance at concert, mixed course one rating, Boys Trio, two rating. Junior High Boys Ensemble, two rating. Participated in basketball. Honorable Mention Academic Award in CCR. And Scholastic Academic Award in Band and Vocal. <laughs> JC Earl, lettered in vocal. KMEA Northwest District Junior High Honor Choir. Mixed chorus, one rating. Seventh grade girls ensemble, two rating. Junior high girls ensemble, two rating. Non-soloist ensemble, two rating. Honorable mention academic award and in intro to drawing and science and scholastic academic award in CCR and vocal. <laughs> Taylor Ellens. Osborne School Spelling Bee Top 10, participated in Osborne County Spelling Bee, lettered in volleyball, Pike Trail League second place team, lettered in basketball, lettered in track, lettered in band, Scholastic Academic Award in band, CCR, English, history, intro to drawing, math, PE, and science. Haley Graff, 
lettered in volleyball, Pike Trail League second place team, participated in basketball, honorable mention academic award in intro to drawing, and scholastic academic award in CCR and PE. Anna Kendig, Osborne School Spelling Bee Top 10, participated in Osborne County Spelling Bee, lettered in cross country, lettered in basketball, lettered in track, lettered in Scholars Bowl, Ameritown Award of an Employee of the Day at the Snack Shop, Schol uh, Scholastic Academic Award in CCR, English, History, Intro to Drawing, Math, Math Lab, PE, and Science. Tiana Luters, lettered in band, the 2020 KMEA Northwest District Junior High Honor Band flute, lettered in cheer, lettered in volleyball, Pike Trail League second place team, lettered in basketball, lettered in track, lettered in Scholars Bowl, Ameritown Award of the Top Citizen Award, Scholastic Academic Award in band, CCR, English, history, intro to drawing, math, PE and science. <laughs> Casey McRae, lettered in basketball, honorable mention academic award in science, scholastic academic award in CCR and PE. <laughs> Ariana Miller, lettered in volleyball, Pike Trail League second place team, basketball manager, lettered in vocal, KMEA Northwest District Junior High Honor Choir, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest Solo Performance, Mixed Chorus 1 Rating, 8th Grade Girls Ensemble 2 Rating, Junior High Girls Ensemble 2 Rating, and Scholastic Academic Award in CCR and Vocal. Jayla O'Leary, participated in basketball, lettered in band, lettered in Scholars Bowl, Art Awards of Illustrating America, third place, Honorable Mention Academic Award in CCR and Science, and Scholastic Academic Award of Band, Intro to Drawing, and PE. <laughs> Levy Reiner, lettered in volleyball, Pike Trail League second place team, lettered in basketball, lettered in track, honorable mention academic award in CCR, history, science, and scholastic academic award in intro to drawing, math lab, and PE. <laughs> Ashlyn Schultz, lettered in volleyball, Pike Trail League second place team, lettered in basketball, Lettered in track, lettered in cheer, honorable mention academic award in math and history, and scholastic academic award in CCR, English, intro to drawing, math lab, PE, and science. <laughs> Kaden Schultz, lettered in football, lettered in basketball, lettered in track, lettered in scholars bowl, Ameritown Award of a Top Citizen, Honorable Mention Academic Award in Math, History, and Science, and Scholastic Academic Award in CCR, Math Lab, and PE. Eighth grade, would you please come forward? Dalton Bailey. Lettered in basketball, lettered in vocal, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest Solo Performance, Mixed Course 1 Rating, 8th Grade Ensemble 2 Rating, Junior High Boys Ensemble 2 Rating, Honorable Mention Academic Award in Business Essentials and Exploratory Ag, Scholastic Academic Award in CCR, Intro to Industrial Technology and Vocal. Peyton Bales, lettered in cross country, lettered in basketball, lettered in track, lettered in band, 
Letterton Scholars Bowl, Ameritown Award of Employee of the Day at Energy Resources, Honorable Mention Academic Award in English, Science, Business Essentials, and History, Scholastic Academic Award in Exploratory Ag, Band, PE, and CCR. <laughs> Javier Cervantes, lettered in football, lettered in wrestling, participated in basketball. Ameritown Award of the most su successful business at the container shop. Honorable mention academic award in business essentials and scholastic academic award in CCR. <laughs> Hannah Coop, lettered in volleyball. Pike Trail League second place team, lettered in basketball, lettered in cheer, Ameritown Award of Employee of the Day at the newspaper, honorable mention academic award in business essentials and history, scholastic academic award in CCR, exploratory ag, intro to in industrial technology, and PE. <laughs> Macy Fields. Ameritown Award of Ameritown's Top Citizen, Scholastic Academic Award, and CCR. <laughs> Tanner Foster, lettered in football, lettered in track, Scholastic Academic Award, and in Intro to Industrial Technology, and PE. Dalton Garman, lettered in football, lettered in basketball, lettered in track, Ameritown Award of Employee of the Day at the TV station, Ameritown's Top Citizen Award, Honorable Mention Academic Award in CCR and Intro to Industrial Technology, Scholastic Academic Award in PE and Business Essentials. <laughs> Crystal Graff, lettered in vocal, KMEA Northwest District Junior High Honor Choir, 8th grade girls ensemble 2 rating, junior high girls ensemble 2 rating, non-soloist ensemble 2 rating, Ameritown Award of Employee of the Day at the Medical Center, Honorable Mention Academic Award in Business Essentials in English, Scholastic Academic Award in CCR, Exploratory Ag, Intro to te Indu Industrial Technology and Vocal. Kylie Griffin, Vocal Awards of KMEA Northwest District Junior High Honor Choir, Tri-Schools Music Invitational Contest Solo Performance, Honorable Mention Academic Award and CCR. <laughs> Clay Guttery, Osborne School Spelling Bee Third Place, Participated in Osborne County Spelling Bee, Lettered in Scholars Bowl, Lettered in football, lettered in basketball, lettered in track, Scholastic Academic Award in Business Essentials, CCR, English, Exploratory Ag, History, Intro to Industrial Technology, Math, and Science. <laughs> Kale Hartsock, lettered in volleyball, Pike Trail League's second place team, lettered in basketball, Lettered in Track, Ameritown Award of, of Top Citizen, Honorable Mention Academic Award, Business Essentials, Scholastic Academic Award, CCR, Intro to Industrial Technology, and PE. <laughs> Cassie Kayser, Lettered in Volleyball, Pike Trail League's second place team, Lettered in Basketball, Lettered in Track, Honorable Mention Academic Award in Business Essentials, Scholastic Academic Award in CCR, Exploratory Ag, Intro to Industrial Technology, and PE. <laughs> Caitlin Kendig, Osborne School Spelling Bee, first place. Osborne County Spelling Bee, second place. Lettered in track, lettered in cross country, lettered in basketball, Lettered in Scholars Bowl, 
Scholastic Academic Award in Business Essentials, CCR, English, Exploratory Ag, History, Intro to Industrial Technology, Math, PE, and Science. Lincoln Kane, lettered in football, lettered in basketball, lettered in track, honorable mention academic award in business essentials, an intro to industrial technology, scholastic academic award in CCR and PE. <laughs> Dawson Lance, lettered in football, lettered in basketball, lettered in track, Lettered in Scholars Bowl, manager of Ameritown's most successful business, the Container Shop. Honorable mention, academic award in history, math, and science, scholastic academic award in business essentials, CCR, English, exploratory ag, intro to industrial technology, and PE. <laughs> Addison Poor, lettered in volleyball, Pike Trail League second place team. Lettered in basketball, lettered in track, lettered in Scholars Bowl, Ameritown's top citizen award. Honorable mention academic award in English, history, math, science, scholastic academic award in business essentials, CCR, exploratory ag, intro to industrial technology, and PE. Annika Ruthstrom, lettered and vocal, KMEA Northwest District Junior High Honor Choir, Tri Schools Music Invitational Contest Solo Performance, Mixed Chorus 1 Rating, 8th Grade Girls Ensemble 2 Rating, Junior High Girls Ensemble 2 Rating, Honorable Mention Academic Award in CCR and Vocal. <laughs> Gage Seifred, lettered in football, Participated in basketball, lettered in track, Ameritown Award of Employee of the Day at the Container Shop, Assembler at Ameritown's most successful business, the Container Shop, Ameritown's Top Citizen Award, Honorable Mention Academic Award in CCR, Business Essentials, and Scholastic Academic Award in Exploratory Ag, Intro to Industrial Technology, and PE. Violet Vines, lettered in basketball, lettered in vocal, KMEA Northwest District Junior High Honor Choir, mixed chorus, one rating, eighth grade girls ensemble, two rating, junior high girls ensemble, two rating, non-soloist ensemble, two rating, honorable mention academic award in CCR and exploratory ag, scholastic academic award in vocal. Grace William, Osborne School Spelling Bee Top 10, participated in Osborne County Spelling Bee, lettered in Scholars Bowl, lettered in football, lettered in basketball, lettered in track, Scholastic Academic Award in Business Essentials, CCR, English, Exploratory Ag, History, Intro to Industrial Technology, Math, Science, and PE. Wyatt Wilson, lettered in basketball, honorable mention academic award in business essentials, CCR, history, intro to industrial technology, and scholastic academic award in PE. Hello everyone. As most of you know, I'm Grace William. I want to start off by thanking everyone for coming. I also want to give a huge thank you to our parents and our teachers. They've given us support and provided us with the help we've needed along the way. Without them, we would not be where we are today, soon to be high schoolers. Our junior high years were not exactly ideal. Between online school, masks, 
and our seventh grade track season thrown out the window, I'm just glad I can stand up here today. Even though there were many complications, junior high was a blast. I'll forever have memories of math class, bus rides, football practice, and our undefeated basketball seasons. I'm sad to say that our junior high career has came to an end. Now bigger things lie ahead of us. I'm going to be honest, I'm nervous about going into high school. Being an underclassman again does not sound very fun. It was finally nice to be top dogs for once. <laughs> Suddenly, even though my grades have always been of utmost importance to me, they seem a little more important than before. Even though all these things make me a little weary of the idea of going into high school, I've begun to realize that all these new responsibilities lead to new opportunities. Soon, the football boys will be out under the stadium lights rather than playing catch behind the bleachers, and the girls on the basketball team will finally get their name announced as they come off the bench. We're finally at the age we've all been waiting for. So, even though I'm nervous about going into high school, I'm just as excited. Now for the sixth and seventh graders. Junior high is so fun, so enjoy it while it lasts. It goes by so fast. Also, it's of great importance to, to start making good habits now. I know Dawson will tell you that one bad paper in math doesn't matter, but it's important, I promise. Most importantly, always give your best effort. If you are trying, there will always be people willing to help you. I just want to leave you with one of my favorite verses, Proverbs 18:15. It says, an intelligent heart acquires knowledge, and the ear of wise seeks knowledge. So let us all take this opportunity of starting high school, and let us choose to seek knowledge. Thank you.